Let's begin with a short introduction to colour palettes. Just a short introduction. In Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher, exploring the dynamic interplay of colours is essential for creating visually captivating designs. Begin your journey with the evocative Summer Girl palette, where cool blues and greys dance with muted greens, reflecting the serene yet powerful essence of a summer storm, perhaps. Contrast this with the lively, vibrant Vibes palette, where bold reds, energetic yellows and vibrant blues converge to infuse your designs with energy and enthusiasm. Harness the harmonious blend of colours within these palettes to elevate your creative projects and evoke distinct moods. Experiment with Summer Girl in Affinity Designer to evoke tranquility in illustrations or bring a touch of drama to photo editing. The subtle tones seamlessly blend, allowing you to create seamless transitions between elements. In Affinity Photo, Dive into the depth of these hues, adjusting tones and contrasts to capture the nuanced beauty of a French countryside atmosphere. Switch gears to vibrant vibes for projects that demand an energetic flair. Affinity Designer lets you play with the bold colour combinations, perfect for designing attention-grabbing logos or dynamic vector graphics. In Affinity Publisher, Seamlessly integrate the vibrant palette into your layouts, ensuring that your publications radiate with a lively and engaging visual appeal. Whether you are designing for print or digital, these palettes serve as versatile tools to amplify your creative expression across the Affinity Suite. Now let's have a look at just how we do that. So let's jump right in with how to use colour palettes in Affinity Designer. Learn how to use colour palettes in this Affinity Designer photo and publisher tutorial. Now part one applies to both iPad and desktop for manual edition of palettes. Part two is the desktop version only where you're adding palettes from an image. Up till at the moment you can't do this from the iPad version. It'll come, I'm sure. Affinity Designer features a swatches panel for preloaded or custom colour palettes. These palettes can contain solid or gradient fill swatches. Custom palettes can also be imported, including ASE and AI file types. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create, import, and use colour palettes in Affinity Designer. To get started, we'll be using a summer colour palette, but there are a lot of great colour palettes available on the internet from sites like Design Bundles to choose from. You can find the description below in the links. Open Affinity Designer and click on New Document. Adjust your settings if needed and click Create. Step 1. Create a colour palette from Photo. Photos provide a colourful playground for palettes. You, can, you are able to create a swatch with a range of colours specific to that photo. The colour palette can then be applied to any design. We can create a colour palette either manually or allow Affinity Designer to choose the colours. Now it defaults to five colours and looking at that photo you might think there's more than five colours in there. Well perhaps there are. But what is chosen there are the five primary colours that make up that photo. And of course there are a lot in between including the blacks and the greys and the blues. But you can adjust those or adjust for those as you work. Having the primary colours is a good place to start and that's the basic function of a colour palette. Choose palette colours manually from an image. Now we've got an image there generated by Midjourney, the artificial intelligence or AI generator. Very popular. 
drag and drop or place an image onto the new document that you've created previously and resize it to suit. Click on the rectangle tool on the left side panel, then shift click and drag out a rectangle. Duplicate this as many times as you wish and align them next to each other. Now the default palette number is 5, but you can do what you like. These rectangles will form our color palette. You are not restricted to 5 colors, so create as many as you feel you need. Now select a rectangle, then click on the color tool. Then select the color picker tool on the side panel. Find the darkest area and drag the selection tool to it, then click the color dot to fill the rectangle. Repeat this for the lightest color. Fill the remaining rectangles with dominant colors. Click on the swatches panel on the right hand side, then click on the three lines, the hamburger menu, the hamburger icon as I like to call it. Under the menu, select Add Application Palette. The Application option will allow us to use the palette with other documents within Designer. Designer being the application, of course. Select the first color rectangle, then click the icon next to the palette name. The icon is called Add Current Fill to Palette, and when clicked, the color of the selected rectangle is added to the palette. Repeat this for the remaining colors. Now, part two is desktop only, and that's creating a palette from an image. This is only possible on the desktop version at this point in time. If you don't want to manually create a palette, Affinity Designer can do it for you if you've got the desktop version. Very handy to have. You don't have control over the colors chosen, but it's a good starting point. Once created, you can add or subtract further colors. We will create a palette from a breakfast stock photo created by Watercolor Digital Photo by Anna Zubkova. And the link is in the description below. Click on the Swatches panel, then click the Swatches menu. Next, click on Create Palette from Image. Next, click on Select Image and choose your photo. And in this case, I've chosen the photo breakfast image that I just downloaded from Design uh, whatever its name was, Design uh, Studio. The photo will load and beneath it will be five boxes containing auto-selected colors. Five colors is the default selection, but the number of colors can be increased and you can see it there. Move the slider to the right and you can get an almost unlimited number of colors. Click on Location and choose Application, then click Create. A new palette will be created under the swatches panel. Additional colors can be added with the Add Current Fill to Palette option. Now the three options under Location are Application, Document and Currently Selected Palette. Application allows the palette to be saved and used across your system. Document saves the palette only for that current document. Currently selected palette will save to the palette that is currently open under the swatches panel. Now the step two of this, import a color palette in Affinity Designer. And of course, not only Designer, it applies equally well to Photo and Publisher. Importing palettes is not restricted to those specifically designed for Affinity Designer. Palettes created for Adobe Illustrator can also be used, and a number of other options. Click on the Swatches menu to open. Click on Import Palette, and then as Application Palette. This will make the palette available across your system. Locate your palette and click Open. This process works the same for Affinity Designer and Adobe Palettes. So you don't have to find Affinity Palettes only.
The new palette will appear under the swatches panel. Apply to an object or text by clicking on any colour swatch on the palette. If you no longer want the palette for whatever reason, you can delete it. With the palette still active, click on the swatches menu, then click delete palette. Simple as that. To export a palette in case you want to make it available to customers or, or, uh, or co-workers, click on the swatches menu and choose export palette. That's all there is to palettes really, they're quite simple once you get the feel of it.